Dad, we're gonna miss it. They added wet tires to the porch car. With no traction control or ABS, that sounds dangerous. Well, yeah, but he is driving in. He never wrecks. I'm over the stroke of my dick. This is the car, this is the track, and this is Dirk Schouten who has back-to-back -back wins in the Porsche Cup Benelux. Fucking goaded, he is popping off right now. We are in qualifying um, for, it's raining, as you can see. It's 15 minutes around Misano in the rain in the Porsche Cup. This is my first race in, uh, in the rain in the Porsche Cup. So we have the wet tires on here. The qualifying track was actually pretty dry, so I was worried that my time was going to be pretty shitty it's a 47.2 not a great time but looking at uh everybody else's times i realized i was on pole because i guess everybody put the wet tires on even though the qualifying conditions were actually pretty dry you probably could have had slicks on there and driven like at least a 140 getting underway we have uh, joey two places behind us mr chang is now ahead of us launching ahead from p2 up into the lead of the race before corner one joey is getting tied up with edwin yip i believe is his name in the green and silver car so joey loses that position going into the first corner and through the first chicane looking behind us you may notice there's only like six cars here and then this guy just enters from across the track let's find out what happened uh towards the back of the pack as car number five who's starting in p5 oversteers to the left oversteers to the right over corrects to the left and he's into the wall and then the two guys behind him go through so uh, these guys are sufficiently off the pace already not sure why they're so slow off the line and then we have two guys who started in the pit lane and then of course you saw number 10 just absolutely cuts this corner and gets a slowdown so that'll basically remove half of the grid for us we are riding in p2 currently seven tenths behind mr chang and um I wasn't super comfortable with the current track state. I had done a few laps in like the pouring, like downpouring rain, and I had got comfortable with basically no grip. But now that I had this in-between grip, I felt uh, like I was going to be exploited. And you can see uh, Mr. Chang up ahead pulling away from us. Edwin is on my tail, and I break really early for this corner because I'm used to driving it in the super heavy rain, and I really didn't need to. Edwin looks to make a move up the inside, breaks traction on the exit, just too much throttle. That'll put him onto the side and bring Joey forward so Joey is into P3 now and I know that the track conditions are currently a lot drier than what I was used to practicing in but in the super wet you had to lift for this next corner or else you would get a slowdown by going too far um, off of the track so I lift the car ahead I don't think he does lift as he goes off the track and gets a slowdown however iRacing has done really good in the rain um, they're, they're good about slowdowns in the rain uh, on dry, the slowdowns are absolutely terrible, but he serves that one and only loses, I mean, probably just under a second with a second slowdown, so it's pretty accurate. Good job on iRacing uh, for doing that. Behind us is, as we saw, Joey, who is rocking the Misano pole racing livery that we will be using for the Misano endurance event coming up, and peep that on the back. Smile, you're being recorded. He actually made that livery, so props to Joey. It's, it's pretty pretty fucking sick skipping ahead to lap number three and the situation really isn't any different we are still following chang at this point though i do feel that i'm beginning to get much more confident in the current conditions and really push the uh push the grip a bit further than i was used to in the rain and ahead of us mr chang is off of the track he is able to rejoin ahead of us but it's going to lose him a ton of time so we've closed that gap down from over us i mean i think it was about two seconds heading into that corner and now it is 0.7 so a tremendous amount of time gained there peeking out of the spray to make sure i can see that corner and taking it a bit conservatively i mean i don't think it's super important that you go full flat out on any of these sections because you can really make up that time throughout the corners just kind of coasting and letting the car carry itself you, you can do like minimal throttle and brake inputs in the rain in this car and honestly this is my first time driving in this car in the rain and i have to give props to iRacing because man does it feel so good like you can feel the grip um you can feel when you don't have grip but it, nothing is like nothing comes out of the blue you know you can see on the track where the puddles are where the grip may be like you can visually see it you can feel it everything about it is exceeding my expectations currently so on to lap number four and half a second behind chang 
about three tenths ahead of Joey, and we take a significantly different line here to Chang. We cut out and really look for a better exit, whereas Chang allows his car to push deeper and probably not using the throttle so much on exit, but trying to keep a higher minimum speed. It's going to send him slightly deep in this instance. I think that was just late braking from him or perhaps backing off of the brakes in fear of a lockup. It is easy to lock up into that corner, and we're going to stay behind him. We didn't really want to make a move there. I mean, we did want to make a move there, but the opportunity wasn't quite good enough following behind in the spray joey behind us and he is going to break i mean honestly at the right time i break a little early he tries to avoid us ends up going up the inside locking up his tires slightly gets the car stopped though and you'll see in the relative here that he does end up tucking back behind us we lost a significant amount of time to chang there but we're pretty much going to gain all of it back coming through the second hairpin leading on to the straight really finding a good exit here we do get a tire onto the curve there which kills our exit a bit but it's nothing too major everybody is struggling here together so it's okay to make a little mistake here or there ladies and gentlemen that is the sign of a stolen livery he's got like overlapping numbers he then ends up putting a tire onto the curb and you can see him slide out there able to catch it also something i'm super proud iRacing has done the grip like the ability to catch the car in the rain feels so fucking good we catch right up to him we are now about four tenths behind him that'll probably open up a little bit as he is on the throttle before us here taking the penultimate corner and we send ourselves a bit deep we're on the curb for whatever reason we built up the throttle a lot there we were able to catch the car though so it's not too big of a problem he also goes extremely deep into the final corner and that will allow us to kind of negate the time that we lost to him just now in the previous corner so under a second between the two of us i mean two seconds of or a second and a half between all three of us here as we have kind of created our own little group of three here and i trust joey to stay behind me and let me at least give one good attempt at trying to get around this guy and as we come around corner three or four i think that is he goes very wide on onto the curb, able to pull it back onto the track and get the car stopped in time. So props to him for recovering from that. If you start braking on that curb, the car will go around so fast. The curbs hold a lot of moisture in the rain. So typically you want to avoid those as much as you can. It's okay. You can see us going over them right now, especially like mid corner. You can take a curb. Uh, you just don't want to be full throttle or like full brake or really any brake while you're on a curb. Avoid that at all costs. Sending it very deep into the second hairpin, but that does give us a decent enough exit that it kind of negates the fact that we went a little bit deep there. So four tenths behind him, five tenths now as that gap slowly grows. We've got Joey a second behind us peeking out to the right so we can see through the spray and see exactly where this corner is. He's trying to avoid that curb on the left. I think he has a tire on the curb when he breaks there. Gets a little bit of a moment and we're going to try and avoid this curb as well. Getting as close as we can to all of them and use as much of the track as possible. All of the way up onto his tail. Less than three tenths now between us as we come onto the penultimate corner. Looking for a better exit here. This is somewhere I've noticed that he goes very deep. I went very deep on the last uh, lap as well and he definitely does. Trying to keep the car on Track, he's going to lose speed and then I have quite a moment here as I get a tire on the dirt here's Joey's view of me just absolutely going uh, left to right there able to catch the car though and settle back into the rhythm ahead of us Chang actually goes off of the track with a very very deep exit out of the final corner he's going to take a defensive line into turn one as we cross onto lap number six and time wise it's looking like we only have time for two more laps here hoping to get this move done around the outside he pushes all of the way wide and if I were to have pushed myself out there I probably would have ended off of the track so I'm happy with uh, my decision there to stay back a little bit looking for a significantly better exit towards the big braking zone he's going to cut all of the way in front of us pretty late and um, yeah I end up locking up my tires there getting slightly panicked I wasn't expecting him to continue and continue to pull to the right to defend there but I guess that's racing Joey now in P2 this guy car number 10 is actually a lapped car so we've got a back marker coming up and um, I can see absolutely nothing as we head into the first of the hairpins car number 10 goes deep through the corner to let everybody through still kind of cuts off Joby a little bit but it's nothing major and uh, everybody is through there flawlessly so no time loss for anybody I don't think there breaking extremely early for the second hairpin just in case and you can see Chang actually went slightly deep there Joey does well to uh, hang a tight line through there and we kind of settle in about a second and a half behind Chang and uh, seven tenths behind Joey so all split out pretty evenly here and it is now Joey's turn to uh, put some to put some force against this guy. So heading into the final sector, and his braking is just absolutely flawless through here. Beautiful line. It's going to close up the gap all of the way on this guy's tail. And I think that that last sector of this track was just somewhere he was really 
really not comfortable with because we were gaining on him a ton every single lap there. Heading towards the final corner, you want to avoid that curb, avoid what happened to me on the last lap, and both of them do that successfully. The car ahead actually avoiding the inside curb there as well, which you don't really have to. I think he probably did that on accident. Lap number seven, so this is the penultimate lap. Joey te teasing up the inside just to get in this guy's mirrors and right up on his tail coming through the first chicane, like literally right up on his tail. Perhaps looking around the outside, this guy is slowing down a ton, and that is allowing me to catch up. Both of them take a very narrow entrance to uh, this this corner so I'm able to swing a lot wider there side by side just about and Joey is going to end up backing out of that one however Chang goes a bit deep there allowing Joey to put him with his car side by side once again claiming the outside for the chicane and he's going to back out once again uh, not really worth it to go too wide there if you are the car on the outside unless you are defending for your life and I mean they're basically still right on each other Joey just continuing to put pressure on this guy Joey then slings to the inside into the first of the hairpins and Chang defends it pretty well uh, just kind of moving across there so I mean putting his car in the way of any space that would have been afforded to Joey and we're starting to run out of time here to get any type of move done so this is I mean this is the penultimate lap and we're over halfway through it at this point we're just about halfway through it and sadly I'm gonna lose a good bit of time there to them as I had a tire on the curb uh, on my exit and that gave me a little bit of oversteer managed to catch it Joey is hauling ass as ever Meanwhile, Chang is slowing down per usual towards the end of the lap and still manages to get a tire onto the curb. Joey right up on his tail. Chang cutting across there. Good defense from him. And he's going to stay right on the apex here. Joey has nowhere to go there. Heading towards the penultimate corner. And this has been, I mean, probably Chang's weakest point of the track, these final two corners. Joey taking kind of a center line, opening it up slightly as he comes through the final corner and manages to get a pretty good run here, even while while not using the entirety of the track. This is the final lap, and as we come up to the first corner, they are side by side, and Joey pulls off a fantastic move around the outside, light braking, able to meet the apex of the second corner perfectly and still open it up for himself good enough so that he's not like immediately under a ton of pressure. We are going to take our line here that we have been continuing to. We are open it up a lot, look for a good exit, and Chang is going to sling it up the inside of Joey. Honestly, gets the car stopped beautifully, and they are side by side as they head in towards the second chicane he slips ahead of joey here and getting around the corner i <laughs> i was not expecting them to uh slow down so much and really what happened is chang did not get on the throttle until after joey hit him and this was i, I mean yeah it, he just refused to get on the throttle i mean typically people are on the throttle there and i couldn't see him because joey was in the way so i ended up hitting joey on the final lap and now there is a second between Joey and Chang. There's a second between myself and Joey. We've all just split up and uh, it's looking pretty bleak here as about as bleak as the weather at the moment. He actually pulls a little bit further of a gap away from Joey, but same thing as the first lap, cuts the track. That's going to give him a slowdown. He pulls to the inside of the track and we're gonna ride on board with Joey here as he puts himself right up on the tail of this guy. This guy may still have a little bit of penalty to serve. I'm not quite sure. Joey looking for a good exit towards the penultimate corner, finds the outside space. This should give him a better exit towards the final corner, very close to the car, and he ends up just absolutely fucking murdering this guy. Um, I'm gonna show multiple views of this because, I mean, you can make your own decisions on this, but I feel like it's pretty cut and dry. I think Joey knows that. He, he did not do this on purpose. He was looking... <laughs> to cut under but that is not what happened so um that would be the end only two corners from the end of the track oh yeah i know he's pissed about that <laughs> yeah we've all been we've all been on that side of it joey gets a little bit of uh gets, gets a little bit loose heading towards the final corner and sends himself slightly deep we get a really good run here actually and towards the line we have a possibility it's not going to happen, though. He ends up running into the wall there. So P2 claimed for us, uh, maybe if the if the run up to the line was longer there, we could have done something else. But that is not what happened, and the run is pretty short there. So taking a look at the results, uh, Joey with P1, I'm in P2. We got the pole racing 1-2. Uh, not the cleanest pole racing 1-2 ever, but it is... Uh, <laughs> I mean, we did finish in P1 and P2. Joey put in, did put in a heater on lap 2, a 50.7, so... I don't want anybody to get the wrong idea. This was not a high strength of field race. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to racing this car a lot in the rain next season though. It has been an absolute blast. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider checking out some of my other ones. I'm sure you'll enjoy those as well.